from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. That incredible $80,000 of checks have gone live. And if you're in a pink state, you're going to get pink and checks. Yes, I got all the incredible details. In today's recording, the recessionary questions marks are growing by the minute. As a new economic benchmark is released and the bond market surging overnight, what happened in this last few minutes? We'll be looking at CR for stimulus major developing details overnight and then six stimulus. Six stimulus is happening because of the allegiance of France, Germany, and the United States to get economic relief to its citizens because of what's happened in Vladimir Putin. A lot of stimulus packages happen at the same time and we'll explain how this works. Number one, third stimulus paying out right still today. Number two, fourth stimulus paying out with those $80,000 of checks happening right now. Number three, six stimulus heating up because of the energy situation, number one. Number two, the wheat and grain situation, number two. And also the surprising developing details of a banking worry. I'll have the latest details on that. Then we'll be looking at the SS300 situation that changed overnight. And it's really quite fascinating. Why is the bond market surging dramatically today? All the latest details on that. But it's a big morning and we're live on air direct from Santa Monica, California with your big money, third stimulus, fourth stimulus, those $80,000 of checks and the wonderful thing of being in a pink state. You get checks and it's also pink. People were freaking out last night saying, it's pink, we don't get money because we're in a pink state. No, you get pink and you get checks. <laughs> those incredible details. As the toast is toasted, the butter is buttering and the cough is brewing and in some states you're pink. <laughs> And those incredible details start right now as we go into a live broadcast in the shores of Santa Monica, California with all your incredible money as Mornings LA heats up and the checks heat up as well. It's Mornings. Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. And yes, this map is deliciousness because guess what? It's live and checks are being paid out, $80,000 of them. It is that fourth stimulus add-on. And we're going to go over it in just a second. And if you're in a pink state, you're getting checks as well. In fact, you're getting checks in every single state. But first, we're going to start with the incredible details of the Build Back Better Act, you know, for stimulus, SS300. And then we're going to go into six stimulus, all happening at the same time. We'll have the latest breaking details happening minutes ago. Ten-year Treasury notes surging out of control. What happened? And Vladimir Putin, why is he causing new concerns about a banking industry meltdown? Oh boy, <laughs> we have the latest details on that. But it's a big broadcast. It's a big morning and it's live on air and we have all these incredible sums of money. We're gonna start with the Build Back Better Act, the fourth stimulus recon. Tonight in prime time, in evenings LA, America's most watched show in America for financial news in prime time, we're gonna go over all these checks one at a time. But first on Mornings LA right now, let's get a preview of these checks. There's three clusters of checks and three add-ons of checks in the Build Back Better Act. And those checks pay a lot of money. How much? Upwards of $15,000. Let's look at those three clusters and three add-ons starting right now. Again, these checks pay about $15,000. And it's for all of you. Now, in that first cluster of checks, we got in there hazard pay and also the money for my elders, $4,000 to care for young children, $3,600 checks as well. And then the CTC checks for children, $3,600, nutrition checks, checks for college students, the Pell Grant, $550, and the checks for a new electric vehicle, $12,500. This is the first of three clusters of checks and three add-ons in the Build Back Better Act, which will pass. And that is the incredible Build Back Better Act. The details of these checks heat up evenings LA tonight at prime time. The first of three add-ons of checks comes from the shores here of Southern California. Maxine Waters got it in there. A little bit less than $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. And yes, it's huge. Got it in there. 
Now, that is the first of three add-ons of checks. Let's now look at the second cluster checks in the Build Back Better Act. It's huge. It has the paid leave and also the home repairs. This is to weatherize your home and the paid leave if you have to stay home due to sickness or illness. A lot of money across the board. When you look at the third add-on of checks, you have more checks as well. Those third add-on checks feature, excuse me, second add-on of checks comes from Bob Casey. Bob Casey got that $250 billion of free home health care in there as well. Wow, incredible great news. In that third cluster of checks, we have the seniors of free internet. Now, again, tonight in the evening's LA prime time, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. We're going to go over all these incredible checks for you. You qualify. Single, married, SSI, SSDI, you qualify. In this third cluster of checks, we have the internet checks, farmers checks, independent contractor checks, and the money for the seniors. The seniors getting lots of checks. First, the hearing, then the dental, then the vision, then the lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55, which is part for the course we want to talk about adding checks as incredible recon. Among the checks that the senators have vowed to add in there are MSC. What is an MSC? MSC would be a body of additional checks added to this recon that already has fifteen dollars to $60,000 of checks. And the checks would be huge. Now, who would get it? The legislators represent a viewership of the channel. It would be the same as a third stimulus check. Let's recap. Single vigil, $75,000 or less, get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, get it. Double it. Family four, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rail benefits, you get as well. Adult dependents would also get it. It's not income. It's not taxable. It goes nationwide. And it would be about $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter. For up to six months, says the legislator to view, legislators to viewership of this channel. Again, this is MSC. Checks that would be added to the fourth stimulus recon that already has fifteen dollars to $60,000 of checks. But later in this video, you're going to see these checks. They are what I call the fourth stimulus add-on or ancillary fourth stimulus. They're live right now. They're paying out starting already today. For stimulus, the Build Back Better Act, not law yet, but these checks are law, and they're paying out. And guess what? They're paying out in every state. Yesterday, in the evening's LA's one-hour broadcast, which was actually the most watched show ever of this channel, in the history of this channel, in one hour. It had a lot of people in the live chat freaking out because they saw the color pink. They were perhaps in South Carolina pink or Ohio pink or Nevada pink, and they said, oh my goodness, I'm in a pink state. I'm not getting any money. No, no, no. That's not what pink means. <laughs> so what does pink mean? I'll go over it in just a second and just a second when we go over these $80,000 of checks you can get. But let's turn to some other breaking news on some other checks across the board. CR for stimulus passed, but not the way we had hoped it. Last night, the continuing resolution passed and became a law. Passed the House and passed the Senate, and will be signed likely by the President of the United States. The continuing resolution of March 2022 passed overnight. And what happened? Well, they did not get a $2,000 stimulus check in there, even though they could have. But what they did get in there was a surprise. They got in there local county stimulus. Local county stimulus got in there, and what didn't get in there was Joe Biden's money for COVID. So he's coming back with another bill later this week or early next week. I don't know what I can call it. I guess I'll call it CR for Stimulus 2.0 or CR 2, <laughs> two and a half, because there will be another CR next week. Oh, my goodness. What's going on? Let me go over the details for you right now. First, the continuing resolution became a law overnight. So now the federal government is funded through September, and in September they'll have to do another CR. Number two, I, I just think the legislators were watching this channel because last year – when we were sitting back waiting for a second stimulus package, I came up with the idea of putting money for the American people in a continued resolution. And we got that. We made history. A $600 stimulus check went out in that December 2020 CR of last year, or two years ago. Well, what happened? Overnight, legislators in the House got county stimulus in there for themselves. County stimulus? <laughs> Last year we had problems getting federal stimulus in there. They got county stimulus in there? Yeah, their county stimulus got in there and it became law. When was the last time we saw anything like this? Not in the history of this channel. The last time anyone saw this was 10 years ago. So, obviously I can't cover everyone's county, but a lot of counties like in Georgia got county stimulus in there 
and it's of incredible magnitude. So congratulations to those counties. Reach out to your local news or watch your local news to see the county stimulus that got in there. That's the continuing resolution passed, became law overnight. But what didn't get in there was that COVID money for the President of the United States. So the White House was quick to jump on it today and last night and say, you know what, we're coming back with another piece of legislation in the next 24 to seven, 24 hours to 70 to seven days. I don't know if this piece of legislation will pass. And this piece of legislation could get a stimulus check in there as well. What's happening? Jen Psaki, the president's piece, a press secretary, says, um, we needed COVID. We didn't get it. So we're going to come back with another piece of legislation. If we had the money around, we would be moving on. We don't have it. So we need additional money. So that is the comment from the White House saying they're coming back with another piece of legislation in less than seven days. Uh, Democrats don't know if it will pass. I don't know if it will pass because there may be no Republican support. The Republicans have said we're not giving any money for COVID. The latest comment from Raja Kinamuti, Democrat from Illinois today, says we may not get the support um, for more COVID. So what leaves us in this position? Very fluid situation across the board. That's what's happening with CR for stimulus. Now, when we turn to SS300, we have great news on that front right now. The latest news on the SS300 right today, and you're hearing it first time on mornings live on air, is the 10-year Treasury note is surging out of control right today. What does that mean for you and your SS300? It means that inflation may actually be higher than we saw 24 hours ago. If you're watching the show yesterday live on air, a major event occurred. I told you Thursday morning on Mornings Ally Live was going to be huge. Why? The Consumer Price Index number was released yesterday, and that gives you the inflation number for January 2022. Where was it? 8%. Good. Here's what's at issue. Joe Biden promised in his campaign run for president and in his platform as president to swap out your COLA for inflation if you're on benefits. This swapping out COLA for inflation needs to happen when inflation is high. And so we've been watching. Is inflation staying high or is it coming down? It's going to come down because someone has to bring it down. Who's that someone? His name is Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve. And how is he going to reduce that inflation? He's going to reduce inflation through five meetings of the FOMC in five months. The first meeting is just a few days from now. And we're looking to see if he's going to pivot with stronger inflationary reserve measures or weaker. We already know what he's going to do next week. Because he already told us. He's going to do a quarter basis point. That's the weaker of the alternatives. Good. But what he's going to do in April? And what may he do in April based upon what's happening with Vladimir Putin, the European Central Committee, the CPI number yesterday, and the breaking news, which I have for you right now. The breaking news right now that JPL is watching and I'm watching, and you will hear right now, is that Wall Street thinks that inflation may be higher than yesterday's number. Oh boy. Okay. So yesterday's number was for the January inflation. And where to come in at? I predict it was going to be 8%. It came at 7.9%, right on the money. Last year, I told you, in all last year before anything with Vladimir Putin act up, that the inflation number for December 2021 would be 8%. It came at 7.5%. So with Wall Street seeing an 8% inflation rate yesterday on the CPI, don't we understand that that's just what the rate is right now? No. The latest detail this morning is that the 10-year Treasury note is surging out of control, up one basis point to 2% overnight at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The 30-year Treasury note moving up one basis point as well, uh, one, moving one basis point lower to 2.39. These yields are inversely priced based upon the, what's happening with inflation. What's the analysis? Thanos Papavavas, who is founder and chief investment officer at ABV, says that inflation is here to stay. Ooh. He's basically saying that inflation rates are actually, inflation may be actually higher than that CPI number. Remember, the CPI number is one month removed. We've got inflation. We think the rates are going to continue rising because there's a risk that there's stagflation. So that's not good. What's stagflation? Stagflation is the, the situation in which Inflation is here and your economy is stagnant or shrinking. Here's an example. Business owner, you are making the same revenue you made last year, but it costs more to run the business. Stagflation. A, a W-2 employee, you work at a department store, you're making the same salaries last year, but the bread and milk costs more to, to, to buy. Stagflation. Uh, and the concern right today is what's going on with this with SS300. Let me tell you the analysis. It's good at the moment. But it's a little bit confusing going out to April and May. 
Translation, Joe needs to make the phone call. Joe, make the phone call. Yesterday, another major event happened, which was the European Central Bank announced its policy for inflation. The European Central Bank, Christian Lagarde, she is the equivalent of Jay Powell in the United States. She came in and said, you know what? I'm going to come in a little bit more aggressive on inflation than you think I am. Oh, boy. That surprised everyone's socks off, including much of Wall Street. Jay Powell's likely to watch what she did as well. And so my thought and my analysis this morning is the following. One, inflation is fine right now. Joe Biden makes a swap from coal to inflation. You're locking in that higher number. Two, we're fine if Joe Biden makes a swap in the month of April because we already know what, Joe, what Jay Powell's doing at that FOMC meeting this month. He's doing the weaker situation. It's that May situation I'm a little concerned about. You want Joe to make the call now because I don't know what Jay Powell is going to do in May. Jay Powell may say, you know, I came in too weak in March and April. I'm going to come in more aggressively. Let's do the analysis. When Joe Biden makes that swap out from COLA to inflation, you lock in that higher rate. So inflation is at its highest rate of a generation right now. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. So if they swap out COLA for inflation right today, you lock in that higher rate right now. That will raise your benefits up about $200 a month starting right now. And if inflation goes down later this year to, let's say, 4%, you lock in another $100 thereafter. I'm not inventing this. This is not my creation. This is JoeBiden.com's creation. This is what he says as president he's going to do, and he needs to do it right now before inflation comes down. But what about those $80,000 of checks? Oh my goodness, it's exciting, and they're paying out. We're gonna go over those $80,000 of checks and this map. If you've been with this channel since day one, you may have seen a version of this. But if you're a new viewer in like the last six months or eight months or week or so, I'll explain to you why it's important to understand the differences of a pink state versus a green or teal state. It's very important, and it's the importance of moving quickly when money is available. Then we'll be looking at six stimulus, and I'll explain to you how you can have a third, fourth, and sixth stimulus package happening at the same time. It's not confusing, but I'll analyze the second half of this video. Then we'll get a more of a preview of what's happening in tonight's primetime broadcast. It's Evenings LA, and it's America's most watched show in prime time. It's at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we'll have a preview of what's happening in that show. Then we'll be turning back to third stimulus and those big sums of money. Ah, the toast is toasted and the butter is buttering. We're just getting started. As Mornings LA continues, but first, if you need money for the community page and need assistance, the volunteers are there to help you. How do you find that money? Here's a little bit about the community page. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. As Mornings LA continues live on air from San Marco, California. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. There are Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals. Reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And excited continues. And excited continues. Oh, oh, we have an audio. We have an audio. <laughs> Can we clear it up? We clear it up. Let's play some music. Let's play some music.
that's the that's the audio, audio is now. Ah, ah, it's a little, it's a little uh, crinkly. The audio is the audio is a little crinkly. Ah, uh, let's try, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> let's see if that clears it up. Oh, it worked! It worked. There we go. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We do things on the fly here. We just do them as we can. It's a big, old, beautiful morning. And, you know, fixing audio on the fly is how we fix our stimulus on the fly. The great news is that $80,000 of new checks went live. And those $80,000 of checks caused a lot of confusion last night in Evening's Ally. Viewers saw this map, and they saw the color pink, and they said, Oh, pink, we're not getting money. I hate the color pink. No, don't fear the color pink. It's a good color. <clears throat> So let me go over the details of this incredible map. This is what I call channel the fourth stimulus add-on. The fourth stimulus add-on or the fourth stimulus ancillary. This is a map of the homeowner's grant that pays you fifteen dollars to $80,000 of stimulus checks. And the map caused some confusion last night when people saw their state as pink and they interpret that as there's no money. One viewer overnight sent me a message on Instagram saying, oh, I'm in pink. I'm in Ohio. I'm not getting any money. Ohio doesn't care. No, that's not what pink means. So let me go over the details of this incredible program. I'm going to start first for the basics of it. We're going to go over the money, how to get the money, and how to become a member and the significance of the color pink. First, this is the homeowner's grant. But for purposes of this channel, I'm calling it the fourth stimulus add-on or fourth stimulus ancillary. It's law. Unlike the Build Back Better Act, which is not law yet, this is law. And it's already paying out money. So there's money now paying out into people's hands. It is for homeowners. And if you are a renter, stay with me because later in this video, I'm going to show you that third stimulus. I have money for you as for third stimulus for renters and homeowners. But this one is for just homeowners. First, let's go over the incredible money. And let, well, actually, let's step back to where this happened. It was last Friday. The President of the United States announced this incredible program, and it was buried. It was non-broadcast media. It was non-print media. You would see it nowhere. This, this is my job, to get you money. I found the program, and immediately I announced the viewership of this channel. For members, it immediately went into the membership newsletter starting last Friday. In that membership newsletter, it features all the details of this. And that membership newsletter is goes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. What is this? It's a lot of money. It is fifteen to eighty thousand dollars of stimulus checks. Number one. Number two, it is the eligibility is just like a third stimulus. So the income zone is just like everything we always covered for third stimulus. Single individual, seventy five thousand or less, you could get it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand or less, you can get it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security or railroad benefits, you can get it as well. If you got third stimulus before, you can get this again. All you have to do is own a home and be in the zone of income qualification I just went over, and you get the money. Now, let's go to what happened on Monday. On Monday, I told you the program was going live. It did go live. I also told you on Monday that I would stay on top of the situation and give you the update of the money day in, day out. And then on Tuesday... I first debuted this map on this channel. I said, here's the map. It's now live. And I said it was live in the states that are indicated by the color teal, like California, Florida, Texas, and Arkansas. Live meaning the applications were being processed and being paid out. But last night on Eden's Allied in prime time, it was our most watched show ever in the history of this channel in prime time. Some viewers saw the color pink for their state and freaked out and said, oh my goodness, I'm Ohio, I'm pink, there's no money, they don't care about us. That's not what the color pink means. So let's go over the color wheel <laughs> right now. I can't believe I'm doing the color wheel on Mornings LA, but I am. The colors delineate basically the stage in which the state has rolled out the program. Why are states rolling out the program before other states? Because some states have modern computers and other states have older computers. It's as simple as that. State number one has a modern computer system that's in the last 10 years. State number two has an older computer system that's 15 years old. So when they have programs, some states can turn on the program in one minute. Other states take a few days to roll out the program. If you've been with this channel since day one, you saw this on the very first day of this channel. 
On the very first day of this channel, I pressed record on the beaches of Hermosa Beach, and I said, there's this new thing called Pandemic Unemployment Assistance. It's about to go live in three days. The recording was made on April 25th. It was not live yet, but I told viewers on April 25th, go apply today on April 25th because it's about to go live. What happened? In California, if you had listened to me on April 25th of 2020, you would have applied for PUA. And then when it went live on April 28th, you would have seen a deposit in your account on the 28th. That was what happened. For anyone who waited to April 28th to apply in, Cal apply in California, and did apply on April 28th, they, didn't get, they did not get paid for almost three or four weeks. This is why you apply ahead of time. You don't wait to apply the day it goes live. So let's now go back to this map. When we're talking about the pink states, and I'm gonna use Ohio as an example, a viewer overnight sent me a message on Instagram saying, I watched you on Evenings LA, I love the show, but Ohio is pink, that means there's no money. Uh, this is what the viewer said. Viewers said, Ohio, pink, no money. And the Ohio never cares. It's just awful. I said, that's not what the pink means. The pink means it's in pre-submittal review. So what did I do? I went to Ohio's website for it. And guess what it said? Get your application on file today. They're accepting the pre-submittal form applications today, which means that they're not paying the money today, but they're accepting the applications today which means you need to get the application on file right away. Let me give you another example of why this is an urgent situation. Last, in 2021, Javita Carranza, head of SBA, announced to, uh, to, a, uh, to a small business administration on Capitol Hill, she was about to reopen the EIDL ground on a particular day. She didn't tell us which day. On a Monday, it re reopened. I told viewership of the channel, apply today. They did, and the people who applied on that Monday got paid on Tuesday. The people who applied on Tuesday got paid on Thursday. The people who applied on Wednesday never got paid anything. That's how these things move quickly. So, again, this program is live everywhere, number one. The, well, let me, let me say that again. I, I said that. The program is being offered in every state nationwide, number one. Number two, it will be live in every state. But do not wait to apply when it's live. Go to your state right now because every state is likely to either be in a pre-authorization mode, which means we'll accept your application now, but we won't pay you today, pink, or teal, like California. We'll accept your application today, and we will pay you today. That's why you have to pounce. So let's go over these incredible sums of money. It's huge. It's incredible. It's all featured in the membership newsletter for members of this channel, and I call it for stimulus add-on. What is this? This is the homeowner's grant. It is administered by the federal government, but run by your state. So the states will be running the websites for it. It pays you uh, fifteen to $80,000, number one. Number two, qualifications, just like a third stimulus check. So you have to be single, $75,000 or less, married, $150,000 or less. And then it pays for items that many viewers of the channel have wanted coverage for for a long time. Homeowners assistance, association fees, certain home repairs, property taxes, mortgage payments, and other eligible expenses. It's absolutely huge, so get these sums of money. And remember, if you've gotten third stimulus, you can get this as well. If you're not a homeowner, I'll get you third stimulus. If you are a homeowner, I can get you third stimulus on top of this, yes. Meantime, what's going on with that sixth stimulus? And what's important to understand is that you can have multiple stimulus packages happening at the same time. For purposes of how I make things simple for my viewership, I use a numbering system. And a numbering system sometimes causes some people to say, one has to finish before you start the next number in the equation. No, no, no. Because I use the number three does not mean three has to end before you start four. I just use a number. I could use a lettering system. I could use A, B, C, D. So what's going on? Third stimulus still paying out. I'm going to get to it in a second. Third stimulus is paying out right today. As fourth stimulus, this $80,000 is paying out at the same time. So third and fourth at the same time. And six stimulus will be starting up at the same time as well. So you can have third, fourth, and six all happening at the same time. Let's go into what six stimulus is right now and the breaking news on this one overnight. Oh, boy. Okay, first, what is six stimulus? What's the concept of six stimulus? The concept of six stimulus is not COVID. First, second, third, we're really COVID stimulus. 
six stimulus, you can think in the most basic way as Putin caused stimulus or gasoline issue issue stimulus. But it's a little bit more complicated than that. And I'll explain to you why starting right now. First, I'm going to tell you where it's coming from. It's coming from an allegiance between Democratic-led Germany, Democratic-led France, and Democratic-led United States. What I mean by Democratic, I mean the leaders are aligned with the sort of progressive thing of Joe Biden. Germany, France, and the United States. What are they looking at, and why did this happen? First, let me explain to you where it came from. It came from Anthony Blinken, your Secretary of State, going overseas a week ago, saying, you know what, morally, we all have to get off of Russian oil. We all have to get off of Russian oil, and we can't have any more Russian oil consumption. And immediately, the response from Germany was, I can't do that. I don't have an alternative ready and lined up. That was when initially Germany said, no, can't do that. Then Germany changed and said, you know, you're right. I'll get off of Russian oil and get onto something else. We can do that as a team. And the way as Germans we will do this, and France and Italy are going to do it, is we are going to spend debt spend, and give stimulus to our citizens. The concept is very simple, that no one can afford the current gas prices and they will get worse as we get off of Russian oil, but we must morally do that. And to, more, to economically survive that, we have to issue stimulus to our citizens. So it's a very simple concept. Get off of Russian oil, but it's too expensive to not have assistance to our citizens. We need assistance for this as well. Here is what's fascinating. Now let's go over the details of this. What's fascinating is that I first debuted Six Signals on the channel on March 8th in prime time on Eden's LA. One hour after that broadcast aired, state governors in the United States, both Republican and Democrats, said, you know what? We're doing our six stimulus in the state level. What is that? Governors are trying to come up with their type of aid to you on a state level because of the gasoline situation. There's a lot of different situations. I'm not going to cover the states, but some states are doing things like considering removing the gas tax. So your gasoline goes from $5 to $1 a gallon. This is the state level. But for now, the U.S., France, and Germany are looking to line up a major allegiance that would do the six stimulus package where they domestically spend more money to alleviate the concerns of what's happening at home. Now, let's go over why six stimulus is needed. Is it just gasoline? No. What is the situation brand new on gasoline today that you've never heard on this channel? And I'll have more about tonight on EDS LA. The situation gasoline to not today is that ramping up production of gasoline in West Texas is not as simple as you thought. I don't wish to make a joke about it, but I got to have a little bit of a laugh on this one. What is the laugh? The gasoline in the United States along the Gulf Coast is a little bit crude. But in West Texas, it's a little fancy. <laughs> it's a little too fancy to be usable. <laughs> What's going on here? I never thought I would ever have this channel be covering the quality of gasoline pumped out of oil rigs in the United States. But that's where we are right now, folks, because this is very important. This is not a joke. West Texas gasoline is a little too fancy to solve the situation in some regards, says a Fascinating new report by energy analyst Josh Rhodes. Thank you, Josh, for the incredible report. He says we do produce a lot of oil domestically, but just because we get it out of the ground doesn't mean we can use it. Wait a second. I didn't consider this as part of the problems, of, of the list of problems with the six stimulus. The problem is that the gasoline that comes out of the Gulf Coast of Texas is lower crude. It's cruder. And it's more like the gasoline you get from the Middle East and Russia and Canada. But the gasoline that comes from West Texas is a little higher quality. And because it's higher quality, it's a little harder to get it to turn into gasoline, and low, which is lower quality crude. Translation, increase in production in West Texas is not so easy because even if we increase production in West Texas, it's a little too fancy, the gas, the oil. We got to reduce the quality so that's usable for domestic gasoline pumps. Oh, there's always something. West Texas, always so fancy. <laughs> if you're watching this channel and I just called your area crude oil, please do not send me a nasty message saying, did you just call our area crude oil? Uh, yeah, it's it's a little too crude. <laughs> if I, and I compliment your oil and say it's a little too fancy. Don't send me a message or a gift pass and say, thank you for calling me. My gasoline very fancy. Uh, but that apparently is a new problem. 
West Texas gasoline could hit four dollars and fifty cents. Where are we right now? Today, at the time of this recording, where we have fancy gas and we have uh, not so fancy gas, at four at at uh, March eleventh, the AAA national average for gasoline surged again overnight. It's four thirty three four thirty three a gallon. Um, Brent is Brent, who's always crude. He's at two dollars and five cents uh, a barrel, up one eighty three. He's going all over the place. You know, he's he went to two thirty, then he went down. Um, here's the situation unfolding right now: is that when you look at the six stimulus package, it's more than gasoline. United States will be banning import of Russian oil for moral reasons, but Russian oil only accounts for four percent of domestic consumption. So we're doing it for moral reasons. The issue is for our partner allies, what are they going to do? They have now pivoted after initially saying, you know what, we can't get off of Russian oil because we don't have a solution. Now Germany and France saying they will morally get off of Russian oil. And here's part of the problem. Vladimir Putin, he may jump start this before anyone else. Vladimir Putin's economic czar is now saying, you know what? Don't talk about banning Russian oil. We'll just turn off the pipe ourselves. Russia's vowing to turn off the, the Nord Stream pipe that's, that feeds Germany before Germany bans it. So Germany can wake up one morning and have no oil from Russia. Yeah, very, very complicated situation across the board. Now, when we talk about six stimulus, this is what you need to know. The current gasoline prices are not sustainable. If they sustain the current levels through the month of May, we go into recession for two years. White House knows this. You know this. And that is why they need to increase production domestically, internationally, to bring down the price of gasoline. The more gasoline, the better it is. But the problem is that gasoline is not just the only part of the equation. The other part of the equation is the commodities. Wheat, grain, soybean, and corn. What's happening? On that 11 a.m. I stand with Ukraine broadcast coming up in just a few minutes, or if you're watching in prime time, it's at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tonight. I'll go over why the wheat and grain industry is going to be a very big debacle for years to come. Whatever Vladimir Putin is doing right now in the Black Sea is not going to impact wheat and grain for two weeks. It's going to impact it for years to come. And if you're a farmer and you grow crops in the United States, if you are a, a, a single mom and you buy bread at the market, you're going to see these prices going up already. If you remember this channel, it's featured in the newsletter every night. I actually feature the wheat prices, show you how much it's going up. And this is why six stimulus is needed, because the wheat prices will not be going down if, if, there's a, if there's an end of the war tomorrow. The crop destruction will be there for years to come, and Ukraine is a major exporter. And that major export is now off the map for not just a few weeks, for years to come. I'll explain to you why on that broadcast coming up. The other part of the equation I first detailed last night, and I'll feature it more tonight on Amy's Ally. This is the one that scares the socks off of me. A potential banking in industry implosion or negative downturn caused by Vladimir Putin. What's at issue? We don't know. And we means you, me, and Wall Street. Do not know how exposed our U.S. banking industry is to investments in Russian bonds, Russian securities, and how they're going to write off those losses when they become likely, by the end of this week, or potentially the week after that, valueless. U.S. banks are closing operations in Russia. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about locking the door and closing the windows. I'm talking about they have investments in Russian bonds and securities that have been there for a while, and they're about to become valueless. If they become valueless, then banks have major, major losses on their line items this next quarter when they report corporate earnings. And a lot of smaller banks that depend upon that could go under as well. So this is a very another reason why six stimulus is needed. If you were watching the very first days of the Obama administration, Obama had to come in and give massive stimulus to keep the banking industry from going under. It was one of the largest stimulus packages until COVID. Actually, I think it was the largest stimulus package until COVID. It was to keep the banking industry in the United States from going under. A lot of the auto industry almost went under. A lot of the car brands disappeared overnight, never came back. And this is what's wrapped up in the six stimulus package. The issue of oil, the commodities like wheat and grain, and the banking industry. 
Tonight in Evening's LA, we'll go more about this. But here is where your money is right now on Morning's LA. Number one, the incredible money of an $80,000 fourth stimulus program is now live. And you want to pounce to get this money. The eligibility is the same as a third stimulus check. It's for homeowners. If you're a renter, then don't worry, because I'm going to turn right to your money in just a second. SS300 heating up with new economic data, which will be detailed tonight on EDs LA. That new economic data suggests inflation is staying higher. That's good for your benefits, because remember, you swap out COLA for inflation right now, even better. This situation for Build Back Better Act still heating up. The president assuring the American people it's going to pass. That is those incredible $80,000 of checks. But first, let's look at the big money for third stimulus. And tonight, I'll feature some new success stories that came in overnight. They're huge. Where do you get this money? Again, this is money for renters and homeowners. And it's for all of you across the board. You will reach out to six places. Your city hall. Your city house authority. Your county hall. And your county house authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. There are three things you must do. You must reach out to all six places. You must put multiple applications on file. And you must do multiple rounds. Don't wait and get that money right now. Again, this can overlap with anything else covered in this channel. Reach out to the membership newsletter. It's all featured in the membership newsletter. And reach out to the nonprofits. Now, remember, the nonprofits do things that may have been covered elsewhere in the video. For example, the nonprofits featured in the newsletter do those home repairs. But also, you can get the home repair money from that $80,000 grant program. So don't worry about overlap. There's a lot of overlap sometimes with these programs. And then, get this money right now. The average view of this channel has gone to $45,000. Viewership are getting about $10,000 this week. I'll feature their success stories in prime time coming up uh, later tonight. It's that Evening's Allied show. But coming up next, if you're watching the show live on air, is the home edition I stand with I stand with Ukraine coming up at 11 a.m. It's live on air. If you're watching mornings LA, if you are um, uh, watching uh, early mornings LA or or mornings countdown, and then coming up is another show as well. But meantime, tonight on evenings LA in prime time, we have all this incredible money. It's the, America's most watched financial show in prime time, and last night's show was absolutely incredible in viewership so thank you for your incredible viewership we have a lot of breaking news tonight it's a major report with a lot of developing details and of course a very fluid situation of Vladimir Putin's impact on your economy and that's six stimulus it's all heating up tonight and those eight thousand dollars of checks it's evenings all right five o'clock pacific standard time eight o'clock eastern standard time and seven o'clock central standard time for now always stay motivated all stay informed and always stay on point we'll be watching if the president does unveil that extra program an extra piece of legislation in the next 24 hours his press secretary says he will we'll be looking at seeing whether the new allegiance will be manifested to get the ramping up of production of gasoline we'll be looking at whether the downturn of this economy could come if gasoline prices don't surge don't be brought down and what would recession mean for the country as well it's a big broadcast tonight it's evening's la i look forward to seeing you there then and with that, stay informed, stay focused, because the toast was toasting, the butter was buttering, and the coffee was brewing on mornings. Have a beautiful morning, and see you next at noontime.